Tell us about UView. Tell us about the, uh, this new initiative here in the UK, what it means and what it means for STV. Well, UView uh, for me is uh, it's all about next generation TV. Um, I think it's going, to, it's going to change the way people consume TV. Uh, the objective from the start from the UView team, as I understand it, was to blend uh, linear and video on demand. And that idea that you can move seamlessly from a linear experience to watching catch up uh, painlessly, that was the objective and in my opinion they've achieved that. So I think it's going to, it's going to change the way people use TV or consume TV. Uh, I think that's and it's great to be part of it. We are uh, an early, an early uh, content partner for for that for the UView platform. Could you explain to the folks, particularly in the United States, what the platform is and how consumers interact with it? Well, essentially, it is a set-top box which you plug into your TV and you then hook it up to the internet and to a, a digital transmission, digital signal, and essentially you can then watch, you can then watch, uh, as I say, linear television and you can also watch um, uh, video on demand. But the key thing is it's, it brings together all the public service broadcasters in the UK, so BBC, uh, Channel 4, 5, ITV in England and STV in Scotland. So it means you have one seamless uh, means of consuming all this content from one interface. So that's the, that's the killer. It's so, pretty big, so where might it go? What are your hopes? Well, again, there's other, there's other ways of consuming this material. Uh, the, the beauty of UView is you pay for the box, then it's free. Uh, depending on, you know, you can get into a retail store, you pay for the box, and then you, there's, no, there's no ongoing monthly fee, uh, provided you've got broadband connection. So I think that's the, that's the key thing. It's, a, it's, a, it's the next generation of Freeview, as, as uh, people in the UK will be familiar with the Freeview concept. So it's, it's next generation free view essentially. It adheres to certain standards around uh, stream uh, quality. So they've done a lot of work to make sure that uh, if, if the content provider adheres to those standards, the user's going to get a good experience. You know, they've, put, they've put a lot of thought into this. And for you guys, what's in it for you and what are your hopes for STV? For STV, it's important for us. We are pretty laxed about where people consume our content. So as long as we re retain the relationship with our advertisers and the relationship with our audiences, we're pretty relaxed about where people consume that material. For us, you view, it's important for us to be on all these platforms. So we've just launched on Android natively. We're just we're talking, you know, we're looking at Xbox, we're looking at LG, Samsung, Google TV. Uh, we're live on iOS, PS3, UView, web. So for us, it's very, very important to be where our users are, where our audiences are. So we'll continue that strategy and go where the users are. So that's, that's a big part of what we do. And the users are outside of the UK? Or are you geo-restricted, or how does that work? Uh, for UView, we will uh, essentially deliver our service to audiences in Scotland, our audiences in Scotland. So the license areas in Scotland will receive the STV player. Um, and in uh, other areas of the UK, they'll get they'll get ITV. So it's it's very important for us that we're delivering STV player to audiences within the STV license areas. That's uh, crucial for us. Yeah. And uh, you know, finally, uh, you know, we met a couple of years ago, and it seems like the world has changed um, in terms of just having a nice looking flash player and uh, yeah. making it not buffer. And we're in a new world. Where do things stand? Give us an, kind of your point of view here at IBC and where digital video distribution stands. I think it's amazing things going on. We are, we are here to talk to some of our partners, existing partners, prospective partners. Um, we just spent some time with Brightcove, we just spent some time with Video Plaza, we're seeing Limelight tomorrow, we're seeing a, a whole host of uh, existing partners and future partners. Uh, for us, we just saw the Zencoder demo there of uh, you know real-time transcoding. I think it's going to be you know, very interesting. That idea of we typically get a video on demand piece on our player within probably 10 to 10 minutes to 30 minutes of broadcast. This is now happening within you know 10, 20 seconds. So just it's amazing to see that uh, technology kick in. So that's that's interesting for us. We are just about to redevelop all our player uh, user interfaces, so we're doing a lot of work on using responsive design. We're looking at having a, a consistent experience across all platforms. We've got a lot of work in, into that right now, a lot of thinking into that. So our our web player was built nearly three years ago, so we're doing a lot of work right now on what next. And it's, it's a really exciting time to be involved in this space. So uh, that's what we're that's what we're thinking about right now.